today's video, I'm gonna play some uh, Marvel Snap. I'm probably gonna play um, a decent bit of Marvel Snap this season, um, instead of hopping around from game to game until Magic Awaken comes out or until Spellslingers releases content, which is probably never gonna happen. But um, uh, this is the list that Jeff posted, like I don't know, maybe a week ago at this point. But um, you know, it's a super common archetype, and it's not, you know, this is. Everything in here is pretty standard. You could argue like Hulk should be gone for like maybe a Doctor Doom or something like that, so you can get play into certain locations or storm locations and whatnot. But um, yeah, we're uh, using the Wasp obviously to cycle with the, the Lockjaw, uh, Jane Foster to get the Wasp from the deck, also to grab uh, Mjolnir, and then um, Mbaku. Uh, you know, you can play him into Lockjaw, get something bigger, and then he'll come back out as free points later. So this is like probably the most viable deck for him, uh, period. And then, you know, these are like the big payoff cards to get out with Lockjaw. And we have Chavez in here, so we see the Lockjaw. So it's all it's all pretty standard. So let's see how the games go. Do not emote, so let's emote. It's probably muted me already. Okay, well that's easy, right? Um, so he's gonna play like a Carnage or something there, so... I'm just gonna contest a different lane. He probably even has a uh, Killmonger, so... All oh, this is probably gonna die. He's gonna rock himself, I'm assuming. Okay, that makes me think he doesn't have Killmonger in his hand. Maybe he doesn't even run it. Uh, definitely Lockjaw. Um... Yeah, I have to play the Wasp out now. So I'm hoping it'll be Wasp. Wasp will go away. It'll play, um, Jane. Then Jane will get my Wasp again. Let's go. That's pretty high. Okay, so this is like the uh, carnage section. I don't think I'm gonna play Thor, so... They're not the best pulls, but they're not terrible. Yeah, I want to do that first, and then put Mjolnir in the deck. That seems pretty good to me. Kind of miss playing Marvel Snap now. It took like the whole season off because I gained 900 cubes last season, and that burnt me way out. It burnt me way out. Naturally. All right, so he still has to put more resources over here to get it. I don't know why they locked themselves off to the left, but maybe they have like a blue marble, perhaps? Um... Opponent snapped. What do they have that they're snapping me for? Even if they added 4 over here, that would still be just 17. I'm going in it like this. Winning all the lanes. I'm gonna snap. And hopefully I don't get bamboozled by something crazy. Be really something for him to win left, right, and middle though. Oh yeah, this is the 4 buff over here. Nova. Thanks 
the eight cubes. That's a great way to start off a video. Victory. I might push um, for infinite again next season if um, Magic Awaken doesn't come out, or like you just play it until Magic Awaken comes out. Um, okay. Shuri's lab is Shang Chi's lab. That's actually how that goes. Okay, so that's Jubilee Zone. I can catch up a little bit, like this isn't too concerning. Mostly just because of this right here. Oh, okay, so is this, um... Is this like Classic Destroy or is this some weird, like... Uh, Galactus deck? I'm playing this over here. Let's let Jubilee happen first. And then Wasp. So now I'm pulling three cards out of my deck. Well, that's a lot less good than Carnage. Well, maybe not a lot less. This is the one, like, after I did this, I was wondering if that was going to happen to me. Oh, I already got one Mule. Kind of annoying. Well, I guess it's cracked either way. To me. What are the odds of this? This is, this is goofy. Um, so I can put this back, and then I can do uh, this again. What goofy, man. If he plays Destroyer, that would be... And that would be 35 over here, at least. Because of Wolverine... Wait, 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 wait. On reveal abilities happens twice. So the Nimrods would go here and here. And then they'd go uh, to here, to here. But I mean, he blows up this. So he's going to put 20 in each spot. And then like a eight power Wolverine. What? Okay, I just want to see it happen. To be honest, I just want to see it happen. I'm incapable of calculating this. I think. Now I need this Wolverine to go over here. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I thought I, I didn't do, I did not just figure it all out, but I was like, I think I just abandoned this and play here and get it. And I did, so yay. I forgot that I had turned up the music the other day when I was doing dailies, so I um, apologize for the first two games being loud. Is this even worth, I guess so? I guess it gets me prio. That's a good throwaway for Danger Room. Okay. This might be a retreat. 
This very well may be a retreat. It's a good place to put Hulk. Ooh, that's a good one to take away. I'm very underwhelmed this game so far. So he just drew all six I stones naturally. Inevitable. So if he actually pulls Thanos, he's gonna put it all the way to the left as well. I guess I'll put Jubilee in the middle in case it pulls Lockjaw. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna retreat there. All right, mid ginger. This just destroys any card you play. I don't have any play around that location whatsoever. Um, I guess that'd be an argument for Doctor Doom over like Hulk or something. I don't know. So that's that's not good. Looks very familiar. I'd rather just give the two power to Sunspot, actually. If I put Baku back in the deck, and then he comes out, he could just randomly spawn over there, which would be hype. Face the might of Asgard, oh yes, the location that makes it to where you don't play. Genius idea. Oh wait, no, I have Jubilee. What am I talking about? Alright, so I have Jubilee. Um, I have to... I have to play Wasp out, because if I don't, then the computer might just play it for me and not play anything else, so. Mjolnir, to me. Why did it have to get the only zero power thing in my deck over here? That's obnoxious, actually. I guess. I guess. I hope it played all their cards in Death Domain and they scoop. That's tricky. I have priority. Oh no, no, I was gonna say I'm gonna Magneto pull his lockjaw out of there. He's for sure playing something over here. I'm just hulking in the middle. We'll see. Okay. Uh, lost by a greater differential. I was basically, um, rolling on him 
um, you know, not high rolling on the uh, lock draw. Because he's got all the stones in the deck, right? So I didn't think that was, you know, too crazy of a risk to take there. Do, 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 do. Okay. Why are there so many destroy locations? We can cycle this. That's a cool death lock. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it. Eh, never mind, it's alright. Um Jubilee left. I can use a zero cost on Rickety Bridge to blow up whatever they play there as well. Really? Shuri. the Nimrods and the Nimrods are going to blow up again. That happens. It'll be one Nimrod here and two here, right? Because it'll go here, here, and this one will blow up and it'll go here, here. So that's 22 over here. Does that not win? It'll be more than 22 because of Nova. I don't know, let's find out. Or I could just guess wrong and it's not Destroyer in the middle for, for game. That's, that's possible, also. Oh, I totally forgot that Lockjaw got changed, I'm not gonna lie. I I did. Yeah, was 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 not expecting that sequence. Call me crazy. I was not expecting a Venom Carnage uh, combo to wreck my life. not expecting that. It's a big L. Alright guys, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.